take a look at how to play t-rex 20th century boy i did this video uh about seven eight years ago i decided it was time to re uh do the video now i remember a comment on that video um someone said you're playing it all wrong because if you watch mark boland play it live uh he actually plays the second fret not the third so they were actually right they were a bit unpleasant in the way that they, they commented but never mind um the way I actually write so there's lots of different explanations on how to play this one as simple as it is there's 101 ways uh, people have decided to play this one so we're going to look at um, the different ways and maybe the way Mark Boland's playing it when you watch him play it live now it starts off with an E just like that it sounds almost like one chord being hit. There's a lot of distortion on there, but it's actually three. Da da da. Yeah, he does that twice. Then he moves to the main riff. Now, even the official guitar tab book for. Um, T-Rex's Greatest Hits says to move from organ to the third. If you watch Mark Boland playing it live, he plays it on the second and bends it. Like that. Now, it's not that playing the third's wrong, it's just obviously not the way Mark Boland plays it. Uh, he bends that second. So you can see there's a subtle difference in that. So that in row all the way through should sound like this. is based on A moving to the, the main riff. Again, I've seen a lot of different ways of doing this one. If you're stuck in an A like that, and concentrate on playing an A5 really, more than an A. France is fine, France is good, everybody says it's just like rock and roll. So you could play it just like one, two, three, four, like that. Palm muting on the bridge there. It's more than likely it's a shuffle rhythm. It's more likely to be that. So we play the A5 and go into the fourth fret of the D. And then your main riff. Second half of the verse. to what I'm calling the bridge. Well, it's play the C U M N for me. Now again, I keep saying if we watch how Mark Knopfler, eh, uh, Mark Knopfler, <laughs> Mark Boland plays it, that would be interesting to see Mark Knopfler play it. Um, he moves from an A to a B. Now if you watch the live version, he does this. You can see his thumb hooked over. He's got the A in the third fret and then he moves up to the B so he'd be playing a B7. 
if you're playing that with the band, obviously you've got the bass player, the second guitarist, being able to fill in the, the root notes to give the, the full sound. I mean, that sounds a little bit light. So I would be playing it. Sorry. So it's either or decide what what you want to want to do but it's a to b or if you want to be like i keep saying more off like if you want to be like more poland you play it like that to that and on that uh, i'm your toy your 20th century boy and then So we come to then verse two, same as verse one. Friend says fine, friend say it's good. Everybody says it's just like rock and roll. cheat sheet link in the description I've managed to fit it all on on one page so it should make it easier to follow coming to the bridge again it's we then come to the chorus again I've seen 101 different ways of doing this one the way I do it is Play that four times. So you go on E, when you send your D, E, on a B, G5, I'm doing, could do a G. Yo, but E, so, when you send your D, to me out. Now I've seen somebody do it. Like that, almost in power chords. There's also the possibility that he's playing. Like that. Um, dependent on if you're playing it in a band or not. Second fret of the D to open to open G back again. And then an octave up, fourteen fret, twelve fourteen, twelfth of G, back again. could play that as well but again I mean you could play this one on an acoustic guitar and if you were that would sound very empty and you'd want to do it as chords verse 3 following A to uh, shuffle rhythm to the, the main riff friends say it's fine friends say it's good everybody says it's just like rock and roll Again, four times, and then it fades. So you've got the. Then. 
then you have this kind of saxophone a cacophony of noise um, and you can just play E over that or if you were playing it live you probably wouldn't do that little bit unless you have a saxophone playing all them instruments um, really what you learn from this one or what I've gathered from looking at this one is you could just like, blindly obey the guitar tab book as being always correct uh, if you're ever learning anything have a browse around look at what other people are doing uh, check whether you're right you know I started off playing this one and then changed my mind listen to the live version check out what the artists themselves are playing uh, and look for different versions and it gives you and I've done that with um, a number of T-Rex songs as as simple as the seam when you check out see the acoustic version you get more of a, an idea of what they actually are playing because sometimes on the, the mix on a studio version and uh, what's actually been done can kind of get drowned out a little bit and you can't quite hear but all in all um, thank you for watching and I hope that helps you be able to play T-Rex's 20th Century Boy <laughs>